All right, everyone. Just a few moments and we will get this show on the road with The Architect Paris for this Monday morning stream. So just give me a few moments. I just need to go and pull up the coffee and we'll get... Go <laughs> Mrs. Pat said she's already got hers. Now I need to get mine. So just a few moments, folks. We'll grab the coffee and we'll take our first dive through into the Architect Paris and what this particular game is all about because it is not a city builder. Not yet anyway. So if it is not a city builder like City Skylines in SimCity 4, then what is it? Well then, we shall find out in a moment. But in the meantime, I will leave you with this, as this is the road map of this particular game, which is following the same as Surviving the Aftermath, which has been two years in development. So just one moment and we will be right with you. Yeah, I know. All right, first of all, we're gonna move black cats. He's a black cat, he's a good boy. But he loves stealing my head. Okay, folks, so welcome to the Monday stream of The Architect of Paris. The latest game in the city, slash, in this case, urban design. And this case, and this is quite rare at the moment. Whoops, I've just turned the wrong thing off. Okay. Let me just adjust volumes and that, everyone. Homegrown stone fruit. Absolutely wonderful. So, before I dive into the game itself, we need to go through a few basic things first about the game and where it is at. Because what has happened is that there has been a lot of consternation about the game. And a lot of confusion as well. So we're going to go into the workshop and we're going to go into Steam first. So that's the price for me at the moment. So it's an early access, just like Surviving the Aftermath. And as it says here, it's a construction game. So a bit of City Skylines, 
a little bit of uh, satisfactory and Dyson Sphere program. And a little bit of Sim Tower if you want to shoot all the way back that far. But what people are confusing is what this game is between a city builder and an urban design and architect because they are two while they're on the same spectrum they're the two opposite ends of the spectrum and this is causing great and oh look we're already getting our first it looks like we've already got our first budding architects underway and who if it's anything like what we see in city skylines with their content producing assets although that's quite coarse the architect paris or tap as i'll start calling it allows you to get right down to the finer detail and we're going to get some interesting stuff but first of all let's just take a quick look at the game where it sits in the city spectrum because there's been quite a bit of confusion between the difference of a city builder and an architect urban design game and then what the future lays out ahead of it and why it could give city skylines one hell of a run for its money if they get one of the implementations through as promised or as road mapped out and then then we'll tuck into the game so i'll have two games of this i've got one going at the moment called the senate which is the one i'm using to test bed everything and then i'll have another one dedicated to twitch so when updates come through i'll try it in the senate playthrough and then i'll bring it forward into my twitch playthrough and like city skylines we'll be doing uh youtube content and blog stuff all the way um along the way so let's just tuck it into the store page yeah so the reviews are coming up very positive which is fine for which is quite good actually for a game that's just doing design work at the moment building design work or district design work we haven't tucked into simulation or urban planning yet that comes up later so as I noted earlier, it's a review, so it's not bad. And once the roadmap continues to be developed, it will um, continue to richen the game plan. Hopefully, those that, that said they were going to wait might turn over and play. But if we take a look at my review, as I said here, I will be giving this a game a good run through through its development. So we, I'll show the roadmap in a minute. Once I come back with the coffee. But what a lot of people... Actually, let me get the coffee first. Because I'm, I'm going to spend the first about 15 minutes or so. Outlining what this game is and how this fits on the planning the planning spectrum. In the meantime, it's there in text form. But for those on smaller screens like mobile, you might not be able to see that. So I'll go through it with you. And this, of course, will be uploaded to YouTube. If you're wondering where my um, video camera is, I'll be turning that on later. So again, I'll be uploading this to um, YouTube and the blog later on. But the architect Paris, the name is in itself. This is not cities skylines or Sim City. This is the architect, and that should give it away on what the game is initially going to be about. 
if city skylines is about city building then the architect is, uh, is about the individual buildings themselves and when you go to district level um, urban design now city building and architecture urban design while on the same spectrum are opposites so i'll read out the review i've got here and then i'll also transfer it over so i'll be definitely giving this game a good run and we might hold it for the monday streams because i want to see what that especially when that march update comes in today's been march one but it's still february in france so i'll give this game a good run so far the game itself is stable i've only had one crash and that's because one of my buildings was too big okay you get that in city skylines too so <laughs> and the bug was reported so they'll fix that there's no end goals to this game so like some city skylines this game is totally open-ended you must create the goals yourself and this will come into a separate concept i will go into in a minute so it's like any real life city there are no end goals specific you've got to create them yourselves but I am seeing a lot of comparisons to City Skylines as a city builder. Don't. This is not a city builder. This is an architect and urban design game. Not an urban planning game. Not yet anyway. While city building and architecture slash urban design are on the opposite ends of the spectrum. So City Skyline. I'll oh, turn the video on now because you need to see. Um. Oh, that's really screwed everything up. Yeah, okay, that's interesting. Okay, so as I was saying, TPA is an architect urban design game. City Skylines is a... And there we go. City Skylines is a city builder game. So planning on one planning on one side, urban design and architecture on the other of the same spectrum, which is the city or urban geography. Okay, so to compare TPA to City Skylines is the wrong comparison different gameplays different styles the mechanics are different that said put your city building urban planning from one end and architecture and urban design from the other end together and what you get is called spatial planning the full works which is what i do irl in real life so if the roadmap pans out and comes true you're not going to have a city builder you're going to have a city builder you're going to have an urban designer an architect game but in the end you're going to have a spatial planning game and that would be technically that would be the first ever for a game usually games focus city building on one end where you, and then your urban design stuff is rudimentary at best through detailing or asset creation and then you have architect games on the other where the city building and the environment simulation lacks so if this game has the potential to bring both together to bring forward spatial planning so spatial planning is the act of influencing behaviors which then influence the spatial form so the spatial form is the layout of the city the behaviors is, is how the population interacts with it and vice versa how the spatial form interacts with behaviors so architectural wise i could build and urban design wise i can get this district and get this lot in these buildings and create all these things and that's gonna and that's the spatial form so i've created the physical side but that's going to have an impact on how the people are going to behave so if i put in a big massive parking structure as a spatial part of the spatial form the behavior is going to be everyone's going to drive everyone's going to get congestion spatial planning 101 so that's where tpa has its potential and the next thing i um so that's where it is so i'm just going to leave that there for a minute the next thing i am going to do is run some ads to get some pre-rolls out of the road and then we'll cut into the 
roadmap and what's coming through. So again, the architect Paris concerns architecture and urban design down. So that's at a city level down to the site specific level. City building is macro, large. And if this game is able to hold true to its roadmap, then you're going to see for the first time a spatial planning game which blends the two element the three elements together but first of all we're going to run some ads and then we'll uh, we'll kick off with the game I have coffee. A spatial planner's greatest friend. Coffee. All right. Let's tuck back in. Now let's get some music going. Okay, so this is the romance. So this, the, the developers have been absolutely wonderful and laid out what they plan to do. So the game is currently in early access, but they've laid out what they want to do for the next third of the year. So March, it's currently March for me now, we're looking at life simulation. So at the moment, the architecture Paris, you're just basically playing around with designing built different building styles, different plot creations, shapes, and district work. So it doesn't have any consequence on the city of Paris as of yet. That's perfectly fine. You need to um, get used to what you're doing first before we start throwing in some big consequences. So life simulation. So as I said earlier, we're now moving from the architect side to the spatial planning side. So whatever buildings you do or parks you create or plots you create are gonna have consequences on the city in general something that's not quite done well in city skylines because it doesn't have the finesse in the architecture side so we're going to start simulating out consequences to your actions and believe me city planners spatial planners urban designers and architects whew, that's where it gets interesting it's also it can also be greatly rewarding of course, we're going to have three more districts added as we go up the Sine River, and of course, more content. April. Now this, for some, this will be the big one. Photo mode, so we're able to um, do more sharing. 
although I could take photos now through Steam. Modding, now this is where the game is going to have its maximum potential. At the moment, let's just focus on Paris. This is, we were talk, I was talking to other players of this game um, earlier on in the weekend. If the modding is full open like City Skylines is, you could imagine the potential. You could reinforce the life simulation and the urban planning. Um, you could get other districts from around the world. So the architect London, the architect Moscow, the architect Auckland, the architect Beijing. You could absolutely have a ball of a time with this. And of course, districts and more content. Over here is the one I'm keeping an eye on the most. So we'll be able to share to the workshop. Again, more content. But the urban planner tool what so we're now shooting over to the city skyline side the city building side of the aspect what is this going to entail what are the consequences to life simulation and how is that going to impact the buildings i'm going to do so again you finally brought architect and urban design and city building together to bring spatial planning and then of course just a lighter release because this is going to keep us busy for a while especially when it's combined with this and then We'll see what the second half of the year brings. So that's where we are with the game. Now let's tuck in. So we won't use the Senate game because that's the that will be my test bed, um, especially when new material comes out. We we'll do uh, we'll do this. So okay, we will call this. Let's get going and let's tuck into our first four districts uh, we're not doing Dyson Sphere program okay so we can turn so here we go so these are the you when you play this you'll have this so I'll get rid of the hell we'll just jump straight in so these are the two districts I start this is the district I start with district 01 and then I've got Th two, three more districts I can add on as I said as the game continues to develop you'll continue to go up and down the Sighing River so let's tuck in yeah and, and take in these sets with architecture you don't mix a lot of design stuff and the game's running oh no there we go yeah, I was going to see how it's going to be like I was wondering if that was going to happen, so. Okay, so we're into the city view. And, okay. So this is the district I've currently got. So I've got big things like the gardens. The Louvre. And a big ass department store. Okay, so far so good. Okay. So this is the area I've got. So this is the first district. The other districts I can pick up are in here, in here, and then there's a big one that comes all the way across here. And that's where I'm working at with the um test bed at the moment so far so far so good so let's just zoom in and we'll start checking out the mechanics in that okay so this is i can control the daylight so early morning mid morning of course i think i'm in winter mode at the moment 
mid-afternoon. There's no night view yet. That's it. Given a lot of city skylines, players bitch about night view. It's not a bad thing that it's not included. At the moment, we are in. I believe we're in winter. So let's kick it into summer. And of course, you can. If you absolutely want to kill your FPS, you can make it rain. Okay, so we're in Paris. You can see all the horsemen type buildings. And you'll notice the game jumps around a bit. Early access, this is the first time out. They'll do optimization as the patches come out. And I think this is where we're going to... I'm just going to... Just... Because I've got OBS also running, I just need to kill off a few items. So give me a second. And I might just shorten him up. Okay, that we should just help that out a little bit. Okay. So here we are with a district. And now you're going to probably be wondering. And you can see the Eiffel Tower in the back. I want to know exactly where I am. So, let's tuck in. So, those are the daylight controls. We're in summer mode, sunny weather, summer mode. Let's pop out to... Uh, we were in map view just earlier. We've got the design library. So, you can work out. So, these are all the designs we've got at the moment. You're going to see them as I work my way through. And you can use these to create your own specific filters now i'm not gonna i'll do that when the life simulator comes out so we've got a little bit more to work with but you got horsemen um uh, so you got then the subclasses neutral people so i'm doing horsemen at the moment so planet profit and then there's a few subclasses behind that okay so we've got those in there so um not much point fiddling around with the um design library wait till you get some more designs through in the updates and then we'll get going oh this is gonna play the same as um shitty scalange so we've got the districts in place we'll get onto those later so let's tuck into our first project so away we go i'm just going to open up the drawing board that's going to be a big one to note Okay, that's going to be a big one to note when simulation comes online and you start having people in consequences. Do you, and this is a great thing about it, you can go over and over again. Okay, so here's our building. So what we're going to do is in this instance, because I am that person. Yoink, gone. Now I know yeah, now you've got to keep an eye on what's going on in the background. So we know the river is down here and the department store is over here. So you've got to keep this all in mind. So I've got just shy of 2000 square meters on the ground covering nine lots. So if we go into plot mode, So you can see here we go so this is what the buildings will con this is what the buildings will conform to okay so you've got to bear this all in mind now remember the outline is street level now it's 
I figured in playing around with that yesterday. There are times where you bring your building frontages all the way up to the footpath, to the street. There are other times when you do a setback. Most of your buildings would be street level. There are a few buildings, such as parking, that you would do a setback on. So, there is that. So, what we are going to do is we are going to do a merge lot. Um, no, I'm going to turn this around so it's facing the park is facing out to the river. So, we're going to use the lot tool. And we're now being a draftsman. That said, a spatial planner like myself, we need to have these, uh, have a rudimentary idea of this as well. Now, one thing I have not done is turn that on. Because as I will show you down here, you should go no more than 6 by 10 meters to our natural light, and unless you're using skylights or very large windows. So we've got that in there. So we're just going to work on our shapes. Now take your time with this game. You've got all the time in the world. So now so we're going to be slightly over, but it's nothing major. So one of my girls. Thank you. Oops, and that's a bit of a well, that's a bit of a crap shoot. Okay, so okay, so we'll merge the lots. Okay, so we're fiddling around with the plot, uh, the plot editor at the moment, and you will notice I'm going to be bouncing in and out of this quite a bit. In fact. Given the rules of architecture, we'll do that. And then I'm going to... Um, so we'll leave that for the moment. Now we're going to shoot back into building mode and we're going to take a look at our buildings. Okay, so the FPS is going to do this. The game's not optimised yet, so patience with this. It's no worse than City Skylines when it's doing an autosave. So now we're going to have a look at our buildings. Now, um, there are some basic rules. If you're doing a horseman building, it shouldn't be above 10 meters, uh, 10 stories. Now, for those in the United States, the convention that the Commonwealth, I believe the EU follow, is that the ground floor is your level one. And um, the second story for us is level one. So we go ground floor, level one and then away you go whereas in the states they go there's no such thing as a ground floor they go level one which is the bottom so um just with convention in that i'll be following commonwealth convention whereas the ground uh, it's ground floor and then your second story is level one so your uh husband building should be no more than 10 stories high because that's as far as he went if I want to go higher, I'd have to use a different set. So now we can start picking our... Now this, this is just visual at the moment. But these, you'll notice as I'm going through them, will start having impacts on the, remember the life simulations coming up later on. This will start to have impacts um, later on on what you do. So, of course, planet is more spread out, so it won't fit as many people per area. Whereas profit, yeah, banging them all in, and neutral is status quo. So remember that in mind. So when the life simulation and the urban planning tools come online later on in this game, I need to adjust the sunlight. There we go. So I, of course I can adjust the sunlight. 
and you can see so you can do shit so let's just get a little bit more shadowing and daylighting is going to start kicking you're going to have consequences there as well so you have to put up with what planners designers and architects have to put up with when doing a city so this is extremely more comprehensive than city skylines ever will be so yeah you've got to bear in mind how many people are going to be in the area you can probably hear my kids in the background they're having an absolute ball that's it poppy put the broom down please off the tramp because you'll hurt someone thank you okay so you're going to bear that in mind so let's take it to its maximum of 10 stories not 20. Uh, might take a little bit so i actually knocked that back because the roof add, always adds another story over the top so let's go to eight on a uh, on a planet let's alter the roof slightly uh, yeah that's all fine and we can then adjust the um the facades a little bit as you can see we're just starting to adjust them ever so slightly and it's also we're right up on street level now when i do another set hey kiddies noise <laughs> and again it's 9 51 in the morning so at the moment this is right up on street level i will do setbacks in a minute and show you how setbacks work and why we have them and why they can also be a pain in the ass so we've got our first building set down now I will come into here. So let's go to the next lot. And uh, this is even going to be a plaza. That actually works rather well. The other one that I can do is a, a park. But in this instance, a plaza is going to work. Oh, that looks very nice. So there we go. There goes our first set of buildings. Now second set okay so i'm going to go back into the plot editor because i'm going to go and commit a cardinal sin and then one's going wait what and then we're going to merge no we're going to i am going to show you on what we're going to do with with setbacks and I'll show you why in this instance a setback is going to be needed. Okay, so yeah, that's going to work there. And you're also going to see how I'm going to do a, a blending as well. Okay, so we'll merge these up. I'll leave this moment because it depends what I'm going to do next. So now we're going to tuck into. Scroll. Whoop. Yeah, it's not going to like. Okay, so we're going to go here. I'm just. We're going to go parking and we're going to do this. I thought I was going to do that. And where's it shoved the ramp? One side, hasn't it? Yep. Okay, so there's the ramp at five stories. If you're wondering what it looks like if I drop it to ground level, it's just an open parking lot. So six stories there. So that's going to determine, that's going to be another, um, that might be a park in this instance. Okay, actually I'm going to demolish that. And I'll merge that lot up. So let's merge it up. Okay, let's go back over the building. Okay, so every time I go back over the building, it's going to drop the frames. That's fine. Okay, so we can go back here. It's telling me, oops, I've got 264 square meters. Eight floors, so it's telling me six floors. Eight 
eight floors, sorry, at 606, so it's to, so this, you got to remember all these numbers, these are going to come very important later on, um, that actually worked out a little bit better than anticipated, so you, you get some pleasant surprises in this game, now then, what we're going to do is we're going to do a blending in, so we're going to shoot back over, and don't you you can rule the thumb two designs at most three if it's a big lot and then one of the districts there is a mega lot that has a lot on it you can go to your heart's content you can just make get a mini city out of it okay so we're gonna probably run him as people yes yeah, so it's gonna do that technically what I've done is I've actually um, so that's gonna end up doing that I don't think yeah so that doesn't kick until about there so you're gonna run into that particular scenario And what we can do here is just use a little piddly horseman to do that, and we'll just drop him down. There we go. And I'm just going to work on this parking building a bit, see if we can drop him, drop him back. Yeah, that has that two. There's no way I can raise that up, is there? No, I don't want to do that. So we'll restrict them to four. Oh, can I go any higher? Yep, yeah, we can go to five. It's usually about a two-story gap. What I could do is shove the parking building behind. So I could go do this. And then, but it, because of the size of the lot, yeah, so that's going to cause this particular, so this instance I would actually shoot. Yeah, the building lot is a bit too small. Okay, so what we, as it, as it says here, do as you wish to start over again. So what we're going to do is, gonna modify the lot around as I said you can go to your absolute heart's content with this so we're gonna okay so we're just gonna merge this up so we as I said you can go backwards and forwards with this game to your heart's content we're gonna cause a drop in frames Poppy! Ignore the birds, please. <laughs> yeah, it's going to cause this particular scenario. So this might be a change of built. This might be a cha particular change. So we might run this particular one. Is it going to... Okay, so that's at five stories. So let's take him to... Take them to six. Okay, and then we'll run a... And we'll drop the roof back. So we'll check him out. And as you're going to find with architecture straight away, you're never pleased with what you've got. See, I can even do that if I, if I wish to.
Okay, now if I was to come back up to city level. Okay, so this is just going to dip off for a second. And, oh dear. We didn't like that. So that would just be a report straight in. Oh well. Oh well, we get to try that again, so. Welcome, Dev. Which means one of the buildings was conflicting. That's what I mean. So that just gets reported in as an issue. Probably trying to me being a little bit too ambitious. But the good news is, is you know where you usually are. And you just start again. So let's just go over. Okay, so select all, demolish all. Uh, note that one with parks, don't use several lots, just do one big merge over. Okay, otherwise you're going to run yourself into trouble. Okay, so that's this. Okay, so. I need to turn the meters back on because you need to keep an eye on that. Oop, doesn't matter if it's not particularly straight. I'm not here to be OCD in that regard. So, I think what we will do. Run it from this one this time. Shoot to drawing mode. Okay, so run that as run that as a planet. Eight stories. Checkerboard. Plaza. Green space. Okay. It will run that as a parking building, so. Yep, so five. Run them a bit short on that one. Otherwise, I'm going to run myself into a big pickle. So we'll go back over. There we go. Yep, so we'll just. So I can get that parking building slightly higher. Or I could run it up to its full height actually. So that's showing me 10 stories. Hoo -wee. That's a big, so that's going to, when the life simulator part comes on, that's going to have major consequences. So I'm going to leave it there because that's going to be a demonstration on what's going to go wrong. All right, depending on the scenario uh, later on. And, oh, there we go, a horseman like that, so that's the original. Okay. I don't think I can save in this mode. Yeah, I need to. Let's hope it's going to behave. Mm -hmm. 
So the crash would have been because one of the buildings was incompatible. So now you can see what it's like. I've put a huge big freaking parking lot on a Broadway, on a boulevard in front of a river. Yay! Not the flash, it's the planning. And it's going to have real life... And it's going to have real life consequences later on when the life simulator comes up. So that's what it looks like. So we will now shoot back to one of the larger lots. Now what I'm going to do here is that's there. So what we're going to do is this is, I'll show you how to do a quick fire park. Yeah, remember this for your bigger building. So you would have, I would have done it earlier. So if we're just going to go select all. Good night, Vietnam. Go into our lot editor. And we're going to merge this all up. Actually, I'll merge all but one. Okay. So we're going to build. Give me a horseman. So I just want to. And we'll drop him back. I don't want him. So we'll put him there. So a little. And go here and just make that one big whopping big park. And then we can shoot back out. Okay. It's not liking. Um, say what's happening is OBS is causing problems. So we'll give this one more attempt. If not, we'll shoot into City Scans. But that is the architect. Just as well as I said, we'll try that again. It might be not liking the fact that OBS is also open in the background. Just as well as I took a save. So if that is the case, it's fun. This is a case of really needing a new rig. But if that's the case, we will jump over into... Um, Um, city skylines so Let's see just what's going on here. So shove that into park mode. Yep, and shove it off. Sometimes I might be just a little bit too quick. Yeah, that's a case of being... Oh, thank you. Oh, cheesies. That's just a case of being a little bit too quick for the game. It happens. You so said this game is in early access, so a lot of reporting back. So we've created a park. Now what I'll do is I'll look at creating a super tall. So we'll go into our next one. For some reason it keeps defaulting to winter mode, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. So 
let's shoot down so park okay so I think a park is gonna work because plazas only work in yeah square which is nothing unusual for a plaza Okay, let's look at a super tool. So I'll chuck in the super tool and you'll see the dynamics of those. So that's going to work fine. So we'll go into the plot. Uh, no, demolish that out too because I'll share what I'll do with this. So that's that done. Merge the lots. So we've got a houseman in there at the moment. Take him up. Oh no, we'll run him as a. Let's run him as a big super tool. style of this building. So I had some merging a lot. Okay, back in the building mode. So once I've done this, we'll jump over the signal. So this this gives a very basic outline. Drop him down. Drop him down. There we go. So you can get away with mixing two, but you wouldn't go beyond that. So that would create that. So if I was to shoot back out, hopefully the game's going to behave. Yep. 
And that's what that would look like there. So if I was to come back out to, you can see how it's gonna start. So if I was to really come in from over this side, you can start to see how it's going to start having real life consequences and as well as the general look of your city. Now we're going to jump over to here quickly and then we're going to go into city sky. So that's the outline of the architecture Paris. So we're coming over to one of the project areas. Now this will be covered more in depth. later on, but you could do projects which unlock other things. Okay, so obviously that must be under construction at the moment. Hanging gardens. Ooh, don't like that. There we go. So that's a project done. So that's the outline of the Architect Paris. As more things come out, um, you, you will be able to do more. As I said, I've got another game at the, at the moment. But if I save this and shoot over to you, you can have a quick look and see what I've done. And then we'll shoot over the city skylines and go shoot to the other end of the scale. Let's see if this is going to play up nicely. So there's your rule of thumb. Remember that. So I'll show you what I'm doing at the moment on my test bed. This might take a few minutes because I've got all four districts open at the moment as I start working my way through. Because I've already completed doing District 1, so now I'm over to Districts 20 and 24. As the, here we go. So if I zoom right out, you can see this is what I can currently work with. Quite a lot. So at the moment I've finished with District 1 and I'm now working on um, District 21 and 24. But if we come in, you should be able to see yeah, you can start to see some of the work I've done in District 1. As you can see, I'm starting to get more parks in that in. Let me just come out a bit slightly, actually. So we've got a super tall in there, but you can start to see. And we've kept some of the existing architecture in. Of course, there's parking buildings in that floating around. So if I was to remember where the parking buildings were, it's one there, one there. Um, I was over here. Yeah, there's one in there. I think that's all for the moment because I took out took out another one earlier. Oh, and of course a little piddly one there. So as you can see, you slowly start working on them. And if we shoot back over to the current district I'm on, so 
lot of buildings to work with. We were starting to do work over here. Whoops, it's not going to like that because this is quite a heavy area. Yeah, it's good. So obviously I can't have all the districts open at the moment. But that's what we were up to. So that's at a much, much wider level. But we're going to leave it there for now. I'm going to jump into City Skylines. Uh, that doesn't need to be saved. And we'll go going on the other side of the coin. Right, we'll get City Skylines loaded and we'll get going. So that's the Architect Paris. So it's a good looking game. Of course, it's unpolished because it's only early access, but as it continues to develop, especially as the patches start coming out, you'll start to see more stuff come through. Okay, so City Skylines is opening up, so we'll be back in a moment.